Ralph W. Stanley has spent most of his 80 years designing and building boats in his hometown of Southwest Harbor, Maine. Although he's now retired, his traditional wooden lobster boats, which he built by hand using old-fashioned tools and time-honored techniques, remain legendary. It takes a lot of skill to, to work with wood, though, to build a boat out of wood. Those skills are something that's been acquired over thousands of years and, and passed on to, to people. And, and if somebody doesn't keep on building out of wood, it be lost. Stanley worries about that because an increasing number of boat builders are using fiberglass to create a mold of the boat's hull, which they then use to produce a series of vessels with a uniform design. Stanley, like many traditional boat builders, thinks the material limits creativity. Fiberglass came along and I thought about going into fiberglass, but uh, if I did, I'd have to have a mold and I could never change that mold. And every boat I've built, I see something I'd like to change on the next one. Stanley's son, Richard, is also a traditional boat builder. Like his father, he prefers working with wood. Fiberglass boats are a lot harder on the body. The, the wood is forgiving. It, 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 it uh, absorbs the shocks, where the fiberglass is very dense and it, and it just reverberates the shocks. Kerry Russell is chairman of the board of directors for Maine Built Boats, an organization that promotes the state's boat building industry. Russell believes wooden boats will always have a certain appeal, but she notes that many wooden boat builders are switching to fiberglass for some pretty good economic and practical reasons. When uh, the company I work for went from building mainly wooden hulled boats to fiberglass, the issue was uh, that you could get a strong hull uh, with less weight and less maintenance. This boat sails away uh, for 385000 Kyla Morris is head of Morris Yachts, an award-winning company that builds luxury sailboats ranging in price from $185,000 to $1.4 million. An avid sailor, Morris says modern technology has helped him design boats that are much easier to own and operate. We are always trying to look for the best materials and incorporate those with the best design. And then in the middle there you put functionality and that comes from us as sailors using boats. His company, started 38 years ago by his late father, uses electrically operated instead of manual components on its boats. Now there's all sorts of things that have made boating easier like this little jiffy sail cover here. An automated sail cover protects the sail from the elements until it's needed. This is a great improvement over manual winches. This is an electrical winch. A winch is a device that winds or unwinds the rope that's attached to the sail that is used to furl or unfurl it. Main built boats Carrie Russell says one of the reasons boats are being modernized is that they're catering to families who have less time. Technology is served to offer uh, boating experiences to a range of people that might not otherwise have time for doing it the old-fashioned way. But whether for work or for play, the consensus among boat builders like Morris is that there's something very special about boats built in Maine. Whether it's a 12-foot rowing peapod built in wood or a 150-foot super sailing yacht, Maine is all about quality. I mean, hands down, people just, they do it the right way. While the recession has deeply affected the boat industry over the past couple of years, almost everyone is optimistic about the future. 72% of the world is covered with water. Um, people are always going to boat. There's always going to be a demand for, for boats built in Maine because the quality. I'm really optimistic. For Maine's traditional wooden boat builders like Ralph Stanley, the future is less certain. Stanley spends most of his time these days playing his hand-built fiddle, an instrument he crafted out of the same wood he's long used to build his signature lobster boats. From Southwest Harbor, Maine, I'm Julie Tabo for VOA News.